Hi, and welcome to another MI How-To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How-To, we are going to show you how to recapture lost production time and generate more revenue. You're probably asking yourself, how? Well, this guy, Scott Miller from Regal, is gonna tell us all about it because he's gonna tell us how to quickly achieve consistent accurate line changes, but you're the guy, but you know all about that. You've been doing this for like 15 years, yeah, right, Yeah, I've been around for about 15 years, and I've been in hundreds of beverage facilities, mm -hmm. done dozens of installations, and from what I've seen, the, the speed set bracket is a slick and simple problem solver that has been underutilized to address current industry trends. And, and, and let's talk about those. What are the current trends right now, which makes this, you know, the spot on efficiency kind of thing to use. Yep, so in the past it used to be one line, one right. bottle, you were always good to go and consistent. Right. Now you've got multiple containers that are running on the same line, could be right. two, four, eight, however many it may be, wow. and the plant needs to be able to quickly adjust these uh, railings quickly and repeatedly in order to have proper product handling. So what happens if the guide rails are not consistently adjusted properly? So there's three main avenues for lost revenue. The first one is the labor cost for the time it takes to do the adjustment on the manual side. Okay. Uh, the other one is the product loss. So if this is not adjusted properly, you might catch the containers, they tip, they lose them. So they're- We got mess on the time. floor. Exactly. Okay. But the last one, the big one, is the opportunity cost for uptime. A small increase in production time can pay huge dividends. And we did a case study with a representative production line to determine ROI. In this example, the, the line was filling at 800 containers per minute, and they were able to increase their uptime and line efficiency by over 10% with the time saved during these changeovers. That was potentially up to $1.7 million in increased revenue annually, and the speed set solution paid for itself in under a week. Seriously, a week? Wow, I mean, I had no idea that guide rail adjustments could be so time consuming and could cost the facility that much money. Now, why does it take a maintenance crew so long to adjust all this? So with a manual adjustment, you need the tools to loosen the hardware, and then you have to do that throughout the whole line to make it loose. Uh, so okay. once that's loosened, now you would adjust it in, measure it to make sure it's right for whatever container size you've got, right. and tighten in the place, repeat all the way down the line. Um, this process can pull maintenance away from other work they could be doing and result in tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars in lost production time. Since the speed sets bracket requires no tools, it allows the operator to make the adjustment quickly and consistently. You've pretty much taken the human factor out of this equation, haven't you? Exactly. Okay, so explain how this actually works. So using spacers that are specifically selected for the user's products, we simply move the rail um, that would be set for the one product in the morning over to a different size, a different container for later in the afternoon. So using that spacer to slide it into place, we have a quick, consistent, repeatable line change um, that will now make it so this is a much more stable product later in the line. Otherwise, we have brackets that will match whatever the customer currently has. We have we have different types of brackets for whatever insulation is already there. So we're gonna, we're gonna select the right solution for the customer's uh, insulation. Now, what about creating the bill of materials for a speed set bracket solution? H how do you guys do that? So that's where we get involved. We've created a budgetary estimation tool to make sure that the speed set bracket conversion is done correctly. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, then we get the engineering team involved, like myself, right. and we'll make sure all the components are properly selected. On top of that, when it comes time to, for the installation, we really like to use our lifecycle services team to make sure that everything is installed properly. There are some nuanced alignments, especially in the curves, which really warrant professional installation. Yeah. And if the solution isn't done correctly, it's not gonna perform to its full potential. All right, well, uh, I'll tell you what, I love it. I mean, I love everything about the speed set bracket solution. I think I can do the manual side faster than you can do the speed set bracket side. Are, are you up for a little friendly competition? Absolutely, let's okay. do it. Can we, can we go to where it's all set up? I'll see you at the loop. Let's go to the loop, here we go. All right, here we are at the loop for the big challenge and what exactly am I doing, Scott? So on your side, you have typical brackets that you're gonna see anywhere. And that's what the maintenance crew would do, right? That's what the maintenance crew would typically okay. do. Over here, we've got the speed set brackets and that's what I'm gonna be adjusting. You've got your PPE. Uh -huh. We're good to go there. Yeah, we gotta tell everybody, PPE is always priority number one. Make sure that you wear it for whatever the job calls for. Gloves and glasses for this one. Yours may be different, but make sure you do it. Indeed. Okay. So you've got your tools, and then yeah. you've got your two bottles. The large bottle's where we are now, and you're right. gonna adjust down to the smaller bottle. Okay, and that's it. That's it. Oh, okay, well, maybe it's not, maybe <laughs> that's not it, because I know I'm in for a, a, a challenge here. So you ready? I'm ready. On your mark? Get set. Go. Um, he's yawning. He's, he's yawning. Okay. 
And done. Seriously? Seriously. Man, I got like barely a quarter turn over there. <laughs> but How this, did you do that so fast? <laughs> so these pre-cut spacers are already set up for us. We know exactly what size we need. The spring-loaded brackets will take it right back into the original position. It's quick, it's easy, it's now, repeatable. You've done tests like this before. How much time are we actually saving with this? So we did a sort of bracket bracket challenge to right. compare the speed set against all the typical brackets that you'd see in the industry. Uh -huh. On average, the speed set goes two to 10 times faster than your other brackets that you've got out there. Wow, well, I gotta shake your hand, nicely done, man. Any final Thanks. words before we head out of here? Yeah, I just want you guys to know that the speed set solution makes the complex simple and turns downtime into uptime. Well, it's obvious. It wasn't even close. You're going to save a ton of money. If you have any questions, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, or I'll give you his cell phone number. He knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> we had on our safety, remember, PPE priority number one. Number two, go to mihowto.com. Check out more videos that are great, just like this one, with good information, and me, Tom Clark, as your host. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you. I think he cheated.